Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Signer, and today we are back with another speed build video of a Baya Zoo. And in this episode, we are going to add the spotted hyena to our zoo. But before we jump into it, I would like to thank this fantastic sponsor of the channel, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, and it's being used by millions of members around the world. You can easily explore new passions with these inspiring classes and get lost in creativity. There are classes about illustration, graphic design, photography, animation, film and video, marketing, lifestyle, productivity, web development, and and so much more. And the entire catalog is now also available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. I recently finished a class by Emma Gannon called Finding Fulfillment, using pivots to power your creative career. Emma Gannon is such a great speaker to listen to, and she really gave me some useful tips on how to discover and make my own pivot towards happiness and a more fulfilled life. I also really got inspired by the interview she did with other creators who tell their own stories and experience of how they changed their lives to follow their dreams. So this class really helped me to take the first steps using pivots to follow my own. Skillshare is designed for learning, so you won't be bothered by any ads, and there are always new premium classes launching each week to stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. So if you are interested and curious to learn more, I highly recommend you to check out Skillshare with the link in the description. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start your amazing creative journey today. So I think someone suggested this animal in the previous episode and I was like, you know what? I would actually love to add the hyena. So here we are. <laughs> As over this habitat, I went on Google again to find some inspiration for this habitat. And surprisingly, there are quite some interesting hyena habitats around the globe, or at least more interesting than I thought. So for this habitat, I decided to use the uh, striped hyena habitat of Fort Worth Zoo in Texas. I, I hope I pronounced that right. And since I really just like the waterfalls and like the different height elevations they have in this habitat, I thought this would be uh, the perfect fit for our Abaya Zoo. So this habitat is located right behind the black and white ruffed lemur habitat that we built previously and next to the white rhino habitat. So I first started with like lowering the terrain because I wanted everything to be more sunken down in the terrain and also the path, I wanted it to be uh, a bit lower than the rest of like the main path and stuff. So once I dug out like a hole, I made the terrain more smooth on both sides of the area so we could actually add a path there, which will also be like the viewing area into the hyena habitat for the guests. So when the path was laid out, I made the terrain for the habitat next to the path even lower. This will be the area where there will be like this little pool section for the hyenas and where we will also be connecting the waterfalls in a later stage. So the waterfalls will be on the right side of the habitat. It will basically be like three waterfalls high, although the highest waterfall will be a lot lower than the others. But I just really did like the idea of having a three different waterfalls on top of each other and obviously we did use like the waterfalls from the aquatic pack because that's just a lot easier than using the V of access to be honest. So the terrain on the left side of the habitat will also be in three different height elevations to make the habitat look a little bit more interesting and we will also make this more visible and like like give this the extra touch with like a lot of desert rocks to uh, divide the areas. So the edge of the habitat, like under the path, will be covered with a lot of the desert rocks as well. And later on, I will decorate like the top in between like the guests and the habitat, all with some more shrubs and flowers to make it all look a little bit more neat and pleasant to look at, I guess. 
So the bottom of the water section will be covered with some aquatic rocks and the water itself will be colored in this more dirty water look. I think this is the first time we are actually really changing the colors although we did use like more of the uh, chemical blue water with underwater viewing galleries I think this is the first time we are actually changing the water color for just a normal habitat without an underwater viewing gallery and I took the same water color for the base color basically of the water of the waterfalls like I, I don't really think you really noticed the difference that much but it did change the colors in case you are wondering but yeah having this different like dirty watercolor this is just a dirty watercolor that you can select in the watercolors i did not pick the color myself I, I think it just matches really well with the vibe that we are going for for this hyena habitat to be honest so the back side of the habitat i will use like the same orange and brown trunks that we used on the back side of the mandrels habitat i think this definitely works super well as the back side of your habitats instead of like in-game fences or just custom walls or rocks for example so yeah i just really do like the vibe they have going on with these uh colored trunks and something i also have from like the real life habitat is the fence in between the guests and the habitat like in the aquatic pack you have like this aquatic fence piece that actually works really well for this fence idea so with like a metal pillar or metal frame I, I think is from the Europe pack and these aquatic fence pieces I created my own custom fence for the habitat that would make sure that the hyenas would not be able to escape now it's definitely not the most pretty fence to see <laughs> so it surely gives an extra touch of realism to the habitat because obviously in game wise the hyenas would not be able to escape from this habitat anyway so with or without this fence it, it for the game it doesn't really matter to be completely honest but it's definitely cool to experiment a little bit with these realistic fences in our built-in planet zoo for a change so on the back side of the habitat and the waterfalls i decided to make like this little cave for the hyenas for them to rest and get some privacy so we used a one-sided glass here to make sure that the animals cannot see the guests from this area but obviously the guests can see the animals when they are in this cave. And the keeper's gate is right next to this viewing gallery, but I might change this in the future to more of like the backside of the whole habitat, as I feel like this gate might be a little bit too close next to this cave viewing gallery. And we could also expand the viewing gallery itself a little bit if we move the gate to a different location. So I might change that in the future still, to be honest. So in front of the cave viewing gallery, we add like this little metal fence to make sure that the guests would not be able to knock on the windows and those kind of things. So they are not able to like disturb the hyenas when they are in their cave, for example. So once most rocks were in place, it was time to add like the enrichment items and a few trees. And I think I only added two trees in this whole habitat, as I don't think we should use too many in this pretty small hyena habitat. Like other than that, I did want to make it a bit more tropical and more lush so I did use more bushes and shrubs and African grass to decorate the area a little bit more and I obviously also used these small aquatic rocks for decorating the habitat because we just love these aquatic rocks right and obviously when it was time to add the hyenas I was very happy to see there was no issue at all with the traversal area and they were able to easily access all the areas of the habitat including the little water section at the bottom of the habitat and there are no issues with the small aquatic rocks and those kind of things so frontier definitely i think paid some attention to the traversal area in a later stage for the hyenas unlike some other animals that are really uh, working on my nerves sometimes when i build a habitat for them with these aquatic rocks and stuff but no everything was completely fine so i'm very very happy with that and obviously, I am very curious to hear what you all think of this new habitat in Obaya Zoo. Do let me know in the comments down below and also please let me know what other African animal you would like to see next in Obaya Zoo. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already. And also don't forget to check out Skillshare in the description of this video. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!